morning everyone welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a reading vlog just kind of like a week in the life reading vlog i have seen a couple of my favorite youtubers do this where they just vlog what they're reading in a normal week and so that's today's video plan um so yeah it's monday it's 11 20 i work from 12 to 5 today so I'm actually about to go into work, which is why I'm starting this vlog now. I haven't read at all today, um, but I know I'm definitely going to be reading at work. And because I can't vlog at work, I just want to tell you guys. Today is to actually finish the current book that I'm reading so I can add it to my July like wrap up. And that is The Ashes and the Star Cruise King by Carissa Broadbent. This is the second book um, in Crowns of niaxia or however you say it, i'm not actually sure but um i'm about a little over halfway through so i'm hoping i'll finish that at work if i do i'm probably going to start something else on my kindle i'm not exactly sure what what that's going to be but that is the plan reading at work it's my favorite thing also yes it's like 90 degrees outside and i'm wearing a sweatshirt but i'm like it's so cold inside and i'm honestly wearing white boxers and i'm like it's a fit it's fine it's fine it'll be really sweaty on the way that i'm walking to work but other than that i'm fine that's kind of the update also these are boxers that are drying right here because boxers have been my newest obsession a little update i'm gonna go but yeah hi welcome to the vlog okay it is currently 7 47 it is much later i'm actually all ready for bed um <laughs> which is awesome to be like face washed, teeth brushed, all before 8 p.m. It is fantastic. I will have to brush my teeth again because I got some Sprite. But anyways, that's not the point of the video. We are gonna talk about some books. Ashes and the Star Cursed King. So I actually finished that today at work. I rated it five stars. It was so good. If I was being good, I would go ahead and read um, House of Sky and Breath because that's the only book that is like I'm currently reading. But we're not going to. I watched um, a Destiny um, Sidwell. Is that her last name? Why am I like blinking on her last name? I watched a Destiny Sidwell video where she read some books on her Kindle and they honestly like sounded really good. One of them was Behind the Net, which I've actually been seeing that on my Kindle. So I think I'm going to download that and I might go ahead and read that. So read Inseparable and I, she said it was like she didn't know what to think about it um but i think i kind of want to read it just because i don't know it kind of sounded interesting but i'm going to download those i'll probably read behind the net i just the way that destiny was reading it and like her reactions to things made me really really want to read that it's not on my tbr but i also kind of want to read um love theoretically so i'm not sure which one i'm gonna do I feel like it would be smart to read this because I'm borrowing it. I'll take this to work tomorrow. We'll see. Okay guys, I am enjoying this book so much. I just went ahead and rebrushed my teeth and put in my retainer, so sorry. But oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm only like 30% the way through, but I think I might finish it tonight. I just can't stop reading it. The main male protagonist's name is Jamie, and the girl's name is Pippa. Love both of those names. They hold a, a secret place in my heart. But anyways, it's so cute. A hockey romance in June, or no, not in June, in July this month. So it's super fun. It's probably going to be my first book of August. So yeah, I'm, it's like not the best writing, but it's just like, I'm having so much fun right now, okay? That's it, that's it. So it is Tuesday. I just wanted to do a little book update before I go to work. I have read, ooh, I don't know. I was still reading the Behind the Net. I'm about like 44% the way through. I just read a little bit this morning, but definitely going to try to finish the book at work. And then I think I'm gonna bring Love Theoretically to work, so I'll update you after I get done with work. Sorry, I'm reading so much of my stuff at work. Um, it's just like a perfect undisturbed time to read. And so, yeah. Um, this is a work fit. Okay, bye. Okay, hey guys, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning before I go to work and I'm going to try to go ahead 
and finish freaking behind the net i've been reading this book for way too long for how long it would normally take me to read a book of this size yesterday at work i was just like too entranced in 2048 that has been like a game that i've been playing at work for some reason i don't know i'm 70 percent the way through it's going by very fast they haven't had sex yet but they're definitely about to um or it's happening soon hopefully but I'm really enjoying it. It's good. It's fun. It has me giggling. I think I said this earlier, but it's definitely not like the best writing I've ever read. That's an update. It is currently 11 a.m. exactly. I'm gonna head off. This is my fit for the day. I was debating on whether or not to like actually put this together, but um, yeah, I finished Behind the Net and it had me blushing, giggling. <laughs> It was like not the best book like actually ever written like it had mistakes um but it was like was i entertained the entire time yes i was and so that's what i'm looking for in a book but i rated it three and a half stars um it was like i definitely would recommend it it's probably the best um hockey romance that i've read icebreaker is if you liked icebreaker don't talk to me um because that was awful. Actually, it was so good. I actually really liked it. Now I'm gonna read Love Theoretically because I am borrowing that. I know I've mentioned that a few times um, and I'd like to get that back to Anna as soon as possible. So I'm gonna read that at work today and yeah, that's the update. Okay, bye. Okay guys, I feel like I should update. I just took a bath, who am I? Um, but I ended up finishing Love Theoretically today at work. I rated it five stars. I thought the Pride and Prejudice Twilight, um, Taylor Swift references were amazing. I mean, obviously Twilight was the Vegas reference holder and Twilight is my favorite thing ever. If you know me, you know Twilight is everything to me. And so this was so good. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was five stars. I liked it a lot. I love how Allie Hazelwood includes parts of sexuality that aren't often talked about. I think it was one of the novellas where she talked about being, um, dim wait, demisexual, I believe. Demisexuality. And then in this, it talked about not necessarily that, but it's just like different parts of sexuality that don't often or are often discussed within contemporary romance which um i just think it's refreshing it's fun it's new obviously all of her books have some sort of stem relation which i personally love i did stem for two years out of my uh college <laughs> degree and so um it's fun to read like about two things i do really love that being um science and then of course like literature i'm excited to read um other ally hazelwood novels i just know every time i pick up one of her novels it's gonna be a five star at least it typically is a five star and so it's just so fun yeah i feel like i don't have much to say so i'm sorry about that but yeah finish that i finished two books today which is super exciting i think i've read three books in this vlog i'm pretty sure um already it's august 2nd i have two books read um which is always so nice to like you already get a good start to the reading month but yeah I don't know what I'm gonna read it's I'm gonna probably read something on my kindle I really want to read golden girl but I'm like kind of want to read something on my kindle should read is house of sky and breath because that is the only book I'm currently reading I feel like I'm getting deja vu so I've probably already mentioned this but it's the only book I'm like currently reading so I should I should just read it and finish it but we'll see we'll see i think part of me is putting it off because i know once i finish it i have i will have read all of the sarah j moss books that i can read so yeah okay guys update it is thursday about to go to work i think i'm gonna read manacult i don't know i downloaded it to my kindle and so i think i'm gonna read that so i'll update you guys later but that's kind of the plan as of now i'm really excited i've heard a lot of good things about it read harry potter in 2022 and so i think it'll be good hopefully we'll see i'll update you of course i don't know I, I think it's a long book so i don't know if i'll finish it by tomorrow but i'll definitely keep you guys updated um yeah this is a fit feeling very insecure because of my acne um 
it's looking really red but there's not much i can do about it except not touch it so see you guys later bye okay guys ah it's friday i just got off work and i feel like i need to update you guys so i ended up starting manacled and guys i am almost done so i think i'm gonna actually finish reading it on camera because i haven't really got the opportunity to vlog while i'm reading so i'm 98 percent the way through i'm in the second epilogue because there's three epilogues for some reason um and it's crushing me i can tell something is gonna like it, i'm waiting for the other shoe to drop um spoiler warning ahead actually the best book i've ever read um this is not a spoiler it's probably the best book i've ever read but now here's the spoiler so they just killed Voldemort. Ginny killed Voldemort. Hermione had her baby. And I'm just like, everything's so perfect and happy right now. Like, happy. Um, and I'm like terrified because this book has been like hurting my heart. I literally started it yesterday at 12. And I have been like nonstop reading it. This book is humongous. It's like 900 pages. But, oh my gosh. Like, what the hell? Look at this but I'm just gonna start recording now because I'm fearful that I'm gonna I would miss my reaction so I'm getting into it I haven't like drank any water today because I've been just like reading the entire day I'm sorry that's fake sorry but this is so cute like are you kidding me is his prosthetic arm oh my gosh or you call me crane You're lying. Oh. <laughs> I'm at vlog three. I'm shaking. It's August 2024. It's the time, which is crazy because that is literally next year. Um. Okay. They just brought up how Hermione died in 2005, and this is 2024. So almost 20 years later. Um. So I think the like super famous quote is about to happen. I'm hoping this ends happy. Like it seems really happy. So I'm I'm so scared that something bad's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna keep on reading. Oh, she's reading about the history of the war. Ah, I'm so scared. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> the Hogwarts Trio Christmas 2002 Harry Potter with friends Ron Weasley. Muggle-born witch Hermione Granger. Granger left England at the start of the Second Wizarding War to study healing abroad. She survived the war but died during imprisonment while a surrogate in the repopulation program. She was a non-active member of the Order of the Phoenix and did not fight. <laughs> this is not pink. That's the end. No. That's the end. <gasps> but she's fine. They're happy. They're alive. They're happy. They're alive. I gotta go. <laughs> guys so it is later the same day i am still trying to process manacled um i hope i will do a good goodreads review if you want to watch it i or read it i've never experienced a book like manacled apart from a little life those are the only two books that have made me feel like this it was like beautifully written like i can't believe it's a fan fiction like that is astonishing to me um, the way that I learned to love the two of them, even though 
like oh my gosh the pain that both of them had to endure um Hermione like oh my gosh I want it from Draco's point of view and I know the author said that they would never do it but I need it like I want it so bad um because oh my gosh it was incredible I recommend anyone that likes um Harry Potter whatsoever please watch it but this is going to be the end of the video. I had fun recording this. I had a lot of fun recording this video because I got to read, I think, four books. And they were all very, very, very good and enjoyable. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me in this little reading vlog. And I will talk to you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye, guys.